what we've seen recently too is with some of our principal larger accounts, new accounts that we've won, uh, we're competing directly head to head with some offshore uh, sources. So, Dave, last night was the uh, President's St State of the Union address, and you talked about manufacturing, trying to bring manufacturing jobs back in the United States. Mm -hmm. We pulled up outside of Conlet this morning. <clears throat> you don't have enough parking spaces for all the people you employ here, 110, 115 people. So what's the deal with manufacturing in the United States? Is it good or is it bad? Because it's hard to tell by listening to television. Right. We've had our challenges. Uh, if you can remember going back, you've been in business for a long time, I'm sure. And uh, going back in the 1990s, late 1990s, 99, 2000 time frame, <clears throat> there was a push to have, uh, you know, move offshore with a lot of companies, you know, and uh, so we did see some of the higher volume stuff that we were manufacturing move offshore. But what's happened since then is, uh, and we've seen continuous growth, uh, Pretty much every year since then, it, with uh, barring the most recent downturn in the economy in you know, 2005, 2006 time frame, uh, last year we had an 18 percent increase, and we're forecasting, you know, at, at a minimum, that percentage increase this year uh, for 2012 or better. Um, so yes, uh, manufacturing is, is thriving and doing well. I think with companies that are run well, um, <coughs> and that uh, were financially sound and uh, and could weather a little bit of a downturn. Um, so we've seen that and we've gained some market share from some of the smaller companies uh, that didn't survive, so the, more, the better well-run ones did uh, gain some market share because of that. Um, <coughs> but uh, what we've seen recently too is with some of our principal larger accounts, new accounts that we've won, uh, we're competing directly head-to-head -head with some offshore uh, sources. And uh, we've won uh, those, that, that business from them. Um, we are not necessarily uh, the lowest by unit cost, but we're competitive. You know, we're, sometimes we can beat them on unit cost, but we're, what we're finding is we're usually in the 5 to 8 percentage range if, if we're high. We're only that much higher. Um, <coughs> and uh, the high volume stuff, the extremely high volume stuff is, is going to stay offshore sure. more than likely. But the, our niche is kind of uh, medium, low to medium volume high mix. And, uh, and what our customers are telling us, the ones that have gone offshore and have pulled back, is that uh, they like the close relationship and our responsiveness. Um, and uh, so that's, that's some of the big things that they've determined that with them pulling back the business and coming back stateside. Talk to us a little bit about how your company's gotten more productive. We just got back from a, a tour of your, your factory floor and you showed us some software implementations uh, that are helping uh, speed and uh, make more productive your, your work in progress. Talk a little bit about how that's helping. Sure. The, uh, th some of the things that we've been working on, <clears throat> and to be competitive in this business and stay competitive, um, you can't be static. You can never be comfortable. and. Uh, so the things that we've been doing is, is mostly um, improving our, our back office systems okay, with software. Some of the stuff that we were doing before was, uh, was very labor intensive as far as capturing metrics and that type of thing. Um, <clears throat> with the new software that we've purchased, our new ERP and MRP software, it allows us to uh, link that software with our data collection systems, our AOI systems, and our, our production equipment. So it automatically feeds that information into the ERP system um, so that we can make rapid decisions instead of spending all of our time and labor collecting the information so that we can analyze it and make a decision. Um, that response time is much more shorter, okay? And we've eliminated the labor to capture those metrics. Um, so we're leveraging technology that way to kind of be a force multiplier. Um, and that's what, we're, that's what we're using for the technology for on, on the production floor. And we're seeing a huge improvement on that. <coughs> I showed you, uh, you know, how we're tracking our router steps as well. So that tracks labor for each of the production processes. So we know exactly the, the exact amount of time and labor that's spent on each individual process. And that helps us focus to improve our productivity for each of those, for those partic particular processes or assemblies.
Looks like you might be outgrowing this facility soon. Um, yeah, funny, funny you mention that. We, uh, we recently just purchased a new location, and uh, we'll be moving probably in the August time frame, July, August time frame, um, and it'll triple our size, square footage. The investments that you guys have made over the last couple of years, would you say that they've impacted the volumes at which you can become competitive? In other words, you, you, you're pushing up into, you know, we are. past your former ceiling. We are. Um, it's before, we weren't uh, competing with, say, Tier 1 suppliers, and that's happening more frequently now. Um, you know, I don't think we're ever going to be building, um, well, I don't I want to say never, okay, but um, we're probably not going to be building iPads in, in that kind of volume. That's not the niche that we're in in the, in the market that we're serving, okay. But um, so that the market we're serving is, is a good fit for us is, is the medium volume. But, you know, as we get better and as we're more competitive and more productive in implementation of, of the things that we're improving on um, and gaining efficiencies, we're, we're finding that we're encroaching in on that, that, that higher market and uh, beginning, you know, being competitive with uh, the Tier 1 suppliers you know, in some cases. One of the arguments for offshoring is that if you go to the right countries, India, China, Vietnam, there are just as many, if not more, talented engineers there, and they come at a fraction of the cost of mm -hmm. the American engineer. Um, mm -hmm. You guys haven't gone offshore. S give us your sense for um, the kinds of skill sets that you're seeing coming out of school in the engineering ranks. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the skill sets are fine. Um, <clears throat> some schools do a better job, and we kind of recruit a couple different schools that, uh, that do focus kind of on our industry. Um, and uh, their engineering programs kind of, uh, uh, they have a more focus on electronics and manufacturing instead of um, not. Uh, so we kind of target those, those schools and, and recruit from those areas. Um, but the thing with manufacturing and the type of business that we're, we're in, um, there's not so much of a benefit from regions for, say, a low-cost area, whether it's in Asia or India or Hungary or wherever, or Vietnam or, or, or wherever, um, <coughs> because we're providing a manufacturing service. We're seeing more and more where companies are asking us to do the design work for them, and we can do that as well. But um, most of the companies that come to us already have their designs built. Uh, from a schematic up and we're providing the manufacturing service. So there's not a real cost benefit for placing a, uh, you know, it's not cheaper to place the part with a surface mount machine in Thailand necessarily than it is here, okay? Where the big benefit was, <coughs> was back in the late 1990s where you had more through-hole technologies and it was more manual intervention. Well, what we're seeing with technology and innovation over time is it's changing more to surface mount. So that delta and cost is reducing um, because it can be automated and that's where we're part of the reason why we're seeing some of the pullback as well and that's where we'll be able to be, be competitive um, because of, there's less manual intervention.